Girl had been at a party at my house and her boyfriend saw her Instagram stories and said, oh my God, you're at the Tate brothers house in Romania. This was some American chick. And she went, uh, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this video, bro. I'm gonna be tight. Uh, I didn't want to come to this party. They made me come here and I'm not allowed to leave. So her boyfriend is obviously one of these believe all females. Oh my God, my girlfriend. One second. She wasn't even. She wasn't. That's crazy. <sighs> ladies. I don't know if this shit true, but ladies. Sidebar. If we go out to a nigga's crib and you post like you being somewhere you're not supposed to be, if you're going to, just don't post. Like, take videos. I'm not saying don't record. You can record. Just don't post. Post on your close friends or you don't got your boyfriend on your fence. That we, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, because for whatever reason, y'all want to post every fucking thing. Just seven hops. He calls. Niggas, too, niggas got to stop that shit, bro. Niggas in the section, they pay for the section, put it on the bottles and take the pictures and videos and everything. My nigga, nigga standing on V's that's not there. Take a stop doing that shit, my nigga. This shit is this shit is whack. The fucking police and says my girlfriend's being held against her will by the Tate brothers. The police call the American embassy and the next day, police come. That's fucking crazy. That's that's crazy. A phone call. But I mean, sex trafficking or human trafficking is, I guess, uh, the response. Uh, it got the response it needed, but but the mere. The fucking, the mere allegation is enough for the police, fuck the police to swat to be at your crib the same next day. Damn. Come to our house. They search our house. They find no drugs. They find no women. They find no people. There's nothing illegal in the house. We're sitting there at the police station. The prosecutor says, yes, we searched your house. I'm like, all right, good. What'd you find? Well, nothing. But the report said that you were holding people hostage. I said, bro, there was no one at my house. He goes, yes, I know. But we checked the CCTV. I said, oh, what did you find? The girl who made the complaints was outside the gates taking pizza delivery and coming back inside. Ha ha ha. So I'm sitting there laughing. The police are laughing. The prosecutor is laughing. And then I went home. A girl had been at a party at my house. That's fucking crazy. Mere allegation. I don't know if this is before or after. Wait, let me check the comments. Message to Jane, it makes you change. Just stop me from here. Let's see, all right, this is, come on. This nigga hot, please laugh to uh, Nah, this is true, this is crazy. I be. Mean, If this story is true, it's fucking crazy. Cause as a nigga, I'm not believing that shit. Nobody. I mean, I'm not saying I ain't gonna believe that a nigga may or may not be holding you hostage, but I, if anything, I'm gonna just come pull up on you. If I am in such situation, I'm not gonna call the fucking police here. Such and such getting held hostage. Like nigga, you ODing. <laughs> You're ODing. If she's able to text you back, like wouldn't she be able to have called the police too though? Like I don't know. It's so many holes in the story. I don't be believing shit. I don't give a fuck who it come from. Like, the shit sound funny. Nine times out of ten, that shit's funny. But let me know how y'all feel. Niggas did get booked. They out now. This video could be old. I don't know how new this or old this shit is. Let me know how y'all feel about this, though. Nigga said she not even hot. Not that that would matter, but whatever.